All right, let's go ahead and put some accessories on the Matthews V3. If you haven't, go check out the vid. Uh, previous video of me reviewing the bow itself, but today we're going to put on the uh, four arrow web quiver. We're also going to put on their silent connect system. Um, then the last thing we're going to go ahead is the flatline stabilizer. Um, this is only a six inch flatline uh, stabilizer. It's also in that green ambush color. You can see here opening up, it just comes in its own little package here, and it's pretty self explanatory whenever you go ahead and piece this thing together. One of the things Matthews did this year was supposedly with the new thread pattern, it's, it gives, gives you a tighter tolerance uh, whenever you put this or go ahead and attach this stabilizer to your bow. You can see that little set screw underneath the dampening system there, right ahead of the weight. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit what we can do with that, but this stabilizer, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, here's the sign and connect. I will say this one was a little confusing as far as the directions. Um, the top and bottom pieces that we're going to attach are actually labeled. They're not labeled top and bottom, but the packaging on the back uh, states that one is top and one is bottom, but it really doesn't give... Um, a good example of which one is which but I'll, whenever I go ahead and install this it's kind of you have to put these uh, you call these little hooks on a correct way and I'll show you how to do that here is just a little rip cord or a piece of paracord has that piece of rubber that goes ahead as you can see whenever you connect this to your bow you just kind of pull that down with your thumb and it locks that paracord in place whenever you're going to pull uh, your bow up into your tree stand so it's a nice little feature I, I, you know for 60 bucks a mm, little steep for price but I think it'll come in handy beats putting uh, carabiners and everything through your cams to pull your bow up uh, here is the four quiver arrow web Matthews quiver um, I have it with the detachable blade protector uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't come installed with that but you know, I, I'll go ahead and show you how to install that on here as well. It does come with its own bolts. Uh, it comes with two different sets of bolts. And for this arrow, uh, for this bow, you want to go ahead and use the 5 8 I believe. It comes with two different sets, but uh, you'll know what I mean whenever I go, go ahead and install this. So here we have the arrow protector here. Um, you can see the harmonic dampeners as well. Uh, those create, you know take out the vibrations whenever you're shooting your bow uh, makes everything less you know quiet and I also got this in the green ambush pattern um, as well so just to go along with the bow to match everything together here is you know you can see the harmonic dampener in the spider claw uh, Matthew claims that this reduces sounds intensity by 55 percent um, and once again that really keeps down your noise down whenever you're shooting this bow along with the vibrations So as I said earlier, um, just to go ahead and insert this qu uh, stabilizer here, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just go ahead and screw it in. Uh, there's, you know, it's not rocket science. There's really nothing else to it. Um, but one of the nice things is whenever you go ahead and tighten this down, you can see where my dampening system doesn't line up. So they have a little set screw uh, in the bottom that allows you to pretty much rotate the end of your the last third of your stabilizer here and uh, to line it up with everything so everything's straight up and down so it's a pretty nice little feature uh, you can see here now how I have it lined up uh, the Matthew insignia is on the top of the stabilizer um, and then your set screws below that but this little shot here I may be able to you know be able to turn it just a hair more to get it straight so here with the silent connect system, you're going to have these stickers if your bow didn't come with the silent connect system. Uh, and basically that's all they are, stickers, and I'm using a heat gun there to break the adhesive off and just pull that sticker off and you will expose those two bolt holes uh, where your silent connect calm hooks go. And all these are is just two screws that come with Loctite ahead or Loctite on them and you just go ahead and tighten those down. Uh, Make sure they are tightened the whole way. You can see that one is not tightened the whole way, and I left it like that on purpose. You want to have those screw heads flush. Next is the bolts for the uh, quiver itself. And like I said, we want to use the 5 
three quarter or five eighths. I, I can't remember offhand. I want to say the five eighths one. But all that you do is it comes with this little key here that you line up with the knockout on the riser. And then you go ahead and place your bolt from the opposite side. And basically what this is going to do, uh, you'll see here, come on up in this, this next shot, is it's going to hold that uh, key into that key position onto the riser there. Uh, so you want to go ahead and do that. And you can put like Loctite on this if you want. Not, nothing heavy, just blue Loctite and want to go ahead and tighten that down. Uh, next with this little piece here, with the spider claw they call it, uh, it's going to have two screws. It's going to have that little screw that goes in the bottom of that key that we just installed. And then it's going to have another bolt um, with a round head that adjusts that you pretty much can do the same thing. If you want to put Loctite on, just go ahead and tighten both those down. And I use a four arrow quiver. Um, I like to take my quiver off and I was going to go with a two piece quiver. But I, like I said, I shoot a lot with my quiver off, even when in the tree stand. And I like to take the quiver off and hang it uh, with my bows as well. So here is the uh, protecting, the blade protector. Um, and all you do with this is slide it up the back and have that little notch on the top. You can see how it rises up there on the top. Uh, push that, you know, have that facing up. And then there's just basically two bolts on the back of it that you want to go ahead and tighten down. And once again, if you want to, you can put Loctite on here, but um, I don't think it really its going to do too much there. So there's the blade protector in place as well. And once again, um, just a matter of compression now. Go ahead and that's how your arrow uh, quiver installs. So all together, it's over just under, or just over six pounds, and that's with every all the accessories on it. So... I uh, hope you enjoy this video and like and subscribe.